Hi everyone, welcome back. This is CC Cycle 1, Week 3, and today we are covering how we reviewed memory work today. And we are learning the fives, the sixes, and fives for uh, multiplication tables today. And so for the fives, we got in two lines in class and we pretended that we had just finished an awesome basketball game and now we are going in our two lines and we are high-fiving the other team. So as we gave high fives to our classmates, we skip counted the fives and naturally uh, that was really fun. So five, 10, 15, 20, and so forth as we're high-fiving. We had one line start as we chanted it one time, and then we would take turns with the other line going around and high-fiving um, so that we got through the rounds of fives. For the sixes, we sing this to the tune of Three Blind Mice as per the CC audio files that are provided for uh, skip counting. And because of that, I thought that it would be fun to take turns ha erasing one of the sixes each time. So each student got a turn to erase one of the sixes each time that we skip counted it. And so by the end of our going through everyone taking turns, uh, about half of them or more, yeah, were half of them were erased. So uh, that just created a bigger and bigger challenge to remember each of the sixes as they were erased and we found it very fun and exciting as the challenge was increased. Some of the kids thought that it was funny to erase ones that were right next to each other. So we ended up having a big gap of like four or five of them erased that we had to keep skip counting through to remember and that worked fantastic and it was a lot of fun. So uh, that's how we covered the sixes and the fives. And for English, we are learning on our next phase of prepositions. And so uh, they are along, amid, among, around, at, and atop. And so for this, we are continuing with motions, just like we started with last week. And this week's motions are along. You just point your hands down. Usually when you're standing, it ends up looking like this, but along, amid, among, two small circles, around, bigger circles, at, and atop. So those are our motions for this week's prepositions. For history, we have tell me about Greek and Roman gods. And so for that, I introduced all the Greek gods and then all the Roman gods. And I passed out these papers, to one on each side of the room, to show the sign that we can think of for each of the gods and then um, kind of a picture of them. And I got this from CC Connected. I will link the creator below in case you're interested in checking it out. That way, as we sang through the song from CC, we just passed these around the class. And as they were singing, they could relate what they're saying to what they're seeing. And that's how we covered Greek and Roman gods today for history. We pointed to the pictures as we sang. I also drew up on the board a couple different, um, a few different images next to each of the rows of gods uh, that just represented what those Greek and Roman gods are known for. So um, that way we all had a visual. For Latin, we are learning the first declension noun endings. And I did reference back to how we have learned the noun cases over the last two weeks, which were the nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative. And this week goes along with that. So for singular and plural, we sang the CC tune, which you can find in the app and on the audio files. Um, so we sang all of the declension noun endings. And I drew up on the board pictures that helped us relate what these actually sound like. So for ah, we had a picture of an up arrow for up, like making the uh sound. And then I, I drew some I, so ah, I, I, and we just did it that way. You can find these picture and sound matchups online. You can also get them on CC Connected. But if you just put in Latin noun endings, you can see that there are lots of great picture references that you can use to link how to sound these out visually for those that are not readers. Um, so that's what we did for Latin. The song actually, uh, if you're singing the song, it has it on there already a couple times as you're singing it. And so you just have to go through it a couple times and that covers 
all of our review for memory work for Latin. For a timeline, we are starting with Hinduism and India. And so for that, we do the sign for spirit. So Hinduism and India. Then we have Phoenicians. They're known for their navigation. And so their water navigation. So we make a boat, put it on some water and Phoenicians and the alphabet. So we're doing A and B. Then we have Olmecs of Mesoamerica. If you look on that timeline card, it references the statues, the big statues of faces that the Olmecs were known for. So to reference that, we're going to make an O for Olmax, and then we're going to go around our face to think of those facial statues that they made. Uh, then we have Israelite Exodus and Desert Wandering. And for that, we're going to make our signs like coming together. And then we have an Exodus. So Israelite Exodus. And then we point our finger like we're wandering and looking around for Desert Wandering. So then we have Israelite Conquest and Judges. And for that, we're going to do this as the sign for Conquest. And Judges, we're going to do like we have scales on a weight, on a weight scale. So uh, you can do the weight or I've seen other some others suggest that you can go like this for the judge as well. So whichever you find more fun or helps you trigger your memory to remember judges, works. either of them work well. Greek Dark Ages is the next one. And so we cover our eyes, Greek Dark Ages. And the last one is Israel's United Kingdom. And so for that, we do the sign for United. We take our fingers and interlock them. Israel's United Kingdom. And that is how we cover timeline. For geography, we're learning Hebrew Empire. And what we did for geography today is I actually started with giving them some fine pointed sharpened pencils because this area on the map is a very uh, close area. So a lot of the things are close knit and tight together. And so I wanted them to be able to see the Dead Sea and the Sea of Galilee. And so we started instead of... Um, highlighting our bigger areas like we usually do with a dry erase. We started with our fine point pencils to note the Sea of Galilee, and then we followed that down the Jordan River to the Dead Sea, and we pointed that out first. So we pointed those three things out first because they're the smallest to see on the map. Once we had that going, then we covered Israel, which kind of puts a circle around all of that, the Jordan and the Sea of Galilee, ending at the Dead Sea. And then from there, we um, traced around Judah with our dry erase marker and then pointed out that Phoenicia is up above Israel. And for those, we just used two separate colors of dry erase markers so that we could see the differences in those areas. And that is how we covered geography. As always, once we introduce, then we go to the next point on the map and we re-cover uh, the first thing that we learned and we keep doing that. Uh, as we make it through all the different points on the map for geography. And that helps us get in our repetition for getting this in memory. For science, we are learning what are some parts of an animal cell. And for that, we have some motions and there is a tune that you can sing it to as well. And the motions are nucleus, we kind of um, curl up in a tight ball, like we're in the center where the nucleus, then we have cytoplasm, and we look around like we're using our sight, then we have vacuole, for that we um, did the motions of using a vacuum to remind us of vacuole, and then we have mitochondria, and um, mitochondria, they are the powerhouses and of the cell. So we do the muscles and like mighty. Okay, and then we have the cell membrane. So we point to our brains. And then the last one is Golgi bodies. And for that, I gave the option of doing Golgi bodies or um, taking your foot and kicking a goal, like uh, a goal in soccer to so remind us of Golgi bodies. So that's how we covered science. We reviewed it with those motions several times. If you'd like to put it to a song, you could sing it to Yankee Doodle, and the tune sounds like this. What are some parts of an animal cell? Nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies. And uh, that is the tune, Yankee Doodle. So hopefully that is helpful for how we covered memory work today. Uh, 
as usual, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next week for week four. Have a great weekend, everybody.